So how do I look? Is my hair all right? Oh, bloody hell, you left the lens cap on, you git. <sighs> Honestly, that... What are you pointing at? Thanks, mate. That would have daft. Okay. Oh, don't give me that face. Just press record. High school. A wellspring of nostalgia for some. A poisonous well of regret for others. This is the story of my high school. A small school that is the beating heart of a small town. Behind the doors of this sleepy little hamlet lurks a passion, a craving. Well, Trevor, I wouldn't actually call it a, uh, a craving. That makes it sound kind of sinful. Yes, a craving. A craving for the adrenaline rush. A craving for the non-stop action. A craving for the drama. A craving for high school chess. So do you think chess is a religion in this town? Sure, you could say chess is like a religion. And uh, I'm like the prophet. Well, certainly we all love chess. I mean, even God loves chess. But that's kind of like when uh, John Lennon said the Beatles were more popular than Jesus Christ. And didn't he have a point? Yeah, te technically. Even though I'm only head cheerleader in an ironic post-feminist kind of way, I wouldn't dream of mocking the chess mania in this town. If it gives people hope, who am I to... Daryl, I'm up here. So, uh, how do you feel about Melanie Lloyd's son, Tommy, moving to town? Well, what, you mean, am I, am I scared? Am I quaking in my booties? <laughs> Bring it on, Tommy. Bring it on. Coach, you think you might have a new player for the roster? Uh, I do not know Tom Kroshka. Tom is but his mother. She was uh, like a genius. She could win with no touch queen. Very good. Thank you very much. What do I think? I think the last thing this town needs is another chess hero. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to shower. OK, thank you. Bye. You mean every man for himself! And so this story begins, like so many stories through the ages, with a question. Who is our hero? Indeed, do we need a hero? In fact, what is a hero after all? Do heroes create history, or does history create heroes? I Put the camera back on me this instant! Oh, that's it. You are a dead man. Come here! Ah! Oh! Stop it! Oh, you stupendous fool! You busted the camera! Hello. Hi. Are you the kid who just moved here? That's me. I'm Tommy. I'm Kyle. You want to see a magic trick? Sure. All right. Pick a card. All right, take it out. All right, put it back in the deck. One. Two. Three. Ta-da! That's not it. Oh, I know. It must be the one in your pocket. 
That's not it either. My card was the Eight of Diamonds. Eight of Diamonds? Darn. It's still pretty cool, though, how you got the cards into my pocket. See you later. Bye. Now, you've got to look at the bigger picture. I mean, the Clash are a perfectly excellent musical group, but the Sex Pistols totally revolutionized musical history. You know what I'm saying? I mean, the king is gone, but not forgotten, and that's the story of Johnny Rotten. Sorry, I'm looking for the principal's office. Second floor, take a right, three doors down. Mr. Tattle, a.k.a. Mr. Batful. Ha, bleeding ha. Hey, are you that Linklater bloke? Melanie's son? Yeah. Lovely. Thomas Linkletter, I presume. Francis Tuttle, captain of this small but sturdy vessel we call Hatley High. Welcome aboard. Thanks. Ah, yes, your mother. She certainly left her mark on this town. But who are you, Thomas? Um, I'm, I'm not quite sure what you mean. Precisely. Mr. Tuttle, you're scaring our new student. Nonsense. Thomas, this is Hyacinth Marquez, head cheerleader, debating champion, honor roller, and all-round wise ape. Pleasure to meet you, Thomas. I, uh, like your genes. Uh. She means your DNA, Thomas. Try not to be quite so clever, Miss Marquez. Smarty Pants here will be your tour guide for the day. Okay. Yes, well, that was Mr. Tuttle. He means well in a hopeless kind of way. Uh, you can call me Cynthia if you like. Almost everyone else does. No, I, I like, uh, I like, I like Hyacinth better. So do I. This is the heart of our school. Birthplace of heroes. The home of dreams both shattered and fulfilled. This is where the boys rev their five liter engines and the girls pretend not to care. This is our poor neglected playing field. Used only by the sad face soccer team and the cigarette smokers. Stand in Tokyo and no hotly. Listen to us, we ramen real nasty. Hey baby, you got a cheer for me? Tommy, these are the knights. Knights? This is Tommy Linklater. So this is Melanie's son. You look a little nervous there, Sean. Anytime, any place. <laughs> any other questions? Yeah, is the art teacher really blind? No, but the guidance counselor is. Come on, let's get you to class. <laughs> So, how was the first day of small town high school? The same, only smaller. Dad, did mom ever talk much about growing up around here? No, not really. The topic didn't seem to interest her much. Because it's weird, I mean, there are pictures of her all over the school. Everyone knows her name. Yeah, I know. People keep stopping me on the street, telling me how sorry they were. One fellow even burst into tears. <laughs> I don't know, maybe, maybe she was a volunteer firefighter and she saved some babies from a burning building or something. Yeah. Wouldn't surprise me. Do you think she'd be happy we came here? Oh, yeah. I mean, she left us the house for a reason, right? I'll get it. Hi there. I'm Lauren Granger. You must be Tommy. Welcome to North Hatley. Wow. I haven't been here in ages. You knew my mother? No, her. <laughs> I used to have a huge crush on her. Mm -hmm. But then again, so did every other 12 year old kid in town. Really? Oh, yeah. My mom was a heartbreaker. <laughs> I used to 
get her to tutor me in math just so I could sit next to her for an hour a week. You hear that, Dad? Mama's a heartbreaker. Yes. Uh, well, we certainly appreciate your stopping by. Huh? My pleasure. You know, uh, I'm a big fan of yours. Uh, it's a little dog-eared, but I was wondering if, well, maybe you could sign it for me? Yeah, certainly. But I must say, I'm a little surprised that a man of your uh, profession should take an interest in such things. Oh, how could you not be interested in such things? I mean, quarks, gluons, teleporting wavicles. But, but isn't there a conflict of interest? I mean, if you believe in God. Oh, no, God's interested in this stuff, too. Oh, is that so? Well, so he says. Do you? Okay, okay, jeez. <laughs> you all right? I have bloody headaches. <laughs> I mean, he's always trying to get a hold of me at the most inconvenient time. Well, uh, I better be going. It was uh, an honor to meet you, Professor Linklater. Oh, um, my sermon this week. It's on God and the microchip. You should both come check it out. Dad's not really big on church. Yeah, I got that impression. It's the only thing that helps. When you say he's trying to reach you, do you mean... Uh... See you later, Tommy. Looking for the chess sign-up sheet? Chess? What makes you think I want to play chess? Okay, then, what does tickle your fancy? Well, I'm trying to find the least demanding sport possible, but uh, badminton's already full. Ambition, I like that in a man. I think the uh, basketball team would suit your needs nicely. Basketball, sounds strenuous. Not here, it isn't. Back in, sharpshooters. All right, boys, this here is Johnny Linklater. It's Tommy. Sure it is. Uh, he's transferred from the big city. He's joining our team. I think he'll make a great addition. You ever played basketball? Uh, no. Good. Pass it to the black kid. And uh, that's it. I'm going to go take a crap. Welcome to the dream team. Oh! Oh! You are an amazing basketball player. Yeah, that's what they keep telling me. Too bad you don't have any decent teammates. I love my teammates. They're so terrible. They keep most of the college scouts away. Yeah, but isn't that the big dream? You know, getting scouted by a huge college? Yeah. It's not my dream. Hi, Julius. You're looking a little rusty out there. Really? Maybe I'm losing it. It was a joke, mate. You're better than bloody ever. We haven't been introduced. Name's Trevor Hayes. This chatterbox here's my best mate, Daryl. We still on for tonight? Absolutely. Eight o'clock, my place. You interested in a little hardcore dragon slayer? Sure, yeah, I guess so. Good. I'll see you both there, then. Oi, Daryl, come on. Interesting guys. The syndicate are a solid crew. The syndicate? That's what they call themselves. I see. So, if being an NBA superstar isn't your dream, what is? My pride and joy. Surfing? Cool. Where do you surf? I don't. I've never even been to the ocean. I have these dreams where I'm standing on the beach, holding my board, watching the waves roll in. 
And then I step out onto the sand and step into the ocean. And I start paddling out. And then? Then nothing. It ends there. Great dream. <laughs> but why do you have to keep all this secret? Because Coach is right. I'm going to be a star in the NBA. And you can't fight destiny, can you? Well, I don't believe in destiny. Yeah? Well, you're lucky. Evening, gents. Pull up a chair. Excellent. A new lamb to the slaughter. Miss Marquez here is the world's most bloodthirsty dragon master. That's dragon mistress to you, half-breed. Get stuffed, you racist slag. Synth likes to pick on Trevor's favorite character, Thendor, because he's a half-elf. Right. Just for that piece of insolence, I refuse everyone the right to resurrection spells. Oh. Ow! Oh, don't be such a wimp. Now someone has to lend the newbie a character to play with. Go on, Daryl, lend Tommy your sixth level cleric. She's a useless old bag anyway. You could use my paladin. He's only eighth level, but he's great with a warhammer. Okay, thanks. Okay, ladies, we're not playing your pussy rules tonight. Strict to hit and saving throw protocols are in effect. And absolutely no premature leveling up. <laughs> that means you, Trevor. I wrote this module myself. It's called the Blood Caverns of Orthos. And without your resurrection spells, it's gonna be hell. In fact, it's gonna give you nightmares. Guys, what's up? My friend tells me he could do real magic. I told him he was a big fat liar. I'm not a big fat liar. Is he a big fat liar? No, he's not. See? So prove it. Okay. How about an old piece of magic handed down from ancient gypsies from Eastern Europe? Oh, shucks, the new kids finally made some friends. Are you guys playing with action figures? Hi, Sean. Hey, Mr. Rhodes, to you. S sorry, Mr. Rhodes. Um, Tommy was just showing us a magic trick. A magic trick? All right, what's the bullshit? Well, he did this really cool thing where he, like, he took the card out and it appeared. Oh, he made a card appear? Little, little card tricks? Card tricks are frauds, Jasper. They use a sleight of hand and misdirection to fool you. Don't you have anything better to do than cheat these poor little boys? I'm not cheating them. You think we're dumb little kids? You think you can fool us all? Ow! Take your stupid card. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> hey there. Hi. What happened to you? I, uh, I got kicked. I see. You gotta watch yourself. This can be a pretty rough turf. Well, if I can survive the blood caverns of Orthos, I, I think I can survive pretty much anything. Are you coming to the big game on Friday? What big game? Good lord, Tommy, you must try and keep up. It's the annual game against Princeton. You should come. Yes, I should. So that goes against the Big Bang Theory. Hey, Tommy. Hi, Father Granger. Please, call me Lauren. Your father and I were just discussing quantum chromodynamics. What's fascinating stuff. <laughs> quantum chromodynamics. Well, once you get him started on that, he'll never shut up. <laughs> Would you like to stay for dinner? Uh, that'd be great. Dad, why don't you tell Lauren about the new book you're writing? You're writing a new book? Well, it's in its very early stages. Well, Dad took a sabbatical to write it. That's why we're here. In the epilogue of Tangled Up in Superstrings, you said that in your next book, you were going to tackle the issue of consciousness and its role in the collapsing of wave functions. Yes. Well, I hope to. But that's a very complex issue. Dad has a scorching case of writer's block. 
Oh, tell me about it. I've been stuck on this one paragraph for next Sunday's sermon on God and globalization for two days now. Hey, maybe you two should get together and have like a brainstorming session or something. You know, like uh, help each other out. That would be great. Your nose is bleeding. Hmm? Uh-oh. Uh Incoming message. <laughs> Excuse me. What? He's got an incoming message. <laughs> Kidding me? We always beat Princeton. It drives them nuts to lose to high schoolers. Well, uh, what do you think about your victory against Princeton? Oh, my victory? I mean, 30 in a row? Hatley High? Ivy League? More like Bush League. Prince guys. We're the Knights, baby. We are the Knights. Go back home. We got Mother Russia here. The Big Daddy coach. They play hard. I still can't believe our coach actually kicked over a water cooler. Sergei Fedorovich. Yeah, he's a bit of a nutter. Defected here back in 76 during the big meet. Yeah, but, I mean, come on. It's just chess. Just chess? I wouldn't say that too loud around here if I were you, matey. Yeah, you of all people. What do you mean, me of all Tommy. people? Tommy! Hey, glad you could make it. You're all coming to the big victory party tonight, right? Bugger that. Me and the lads are off to my place for a bit of Dragon Slayer. Without me? How dare you? No one's forcing you to cavort with those chess yabos. You're such an elitist, Trevor. Besides, you have yet to experience the thrill of our backward beer bonanzas. When in Rome, my dear. This is the highlight of our small town teenage life. Drinking warm beer out of plastic cups with our hands down each other's pants. <laughs> Don't take this the wrong way, but you don't exactly seem like a... Pick, hasty, hillbilly. A bumpkin was the word I was looking for. <laughs> well, I have two Chilean political dissidents for parents, a novelist and a historian. So we didn't have a TV in my house till we were like 14. Chilean. I'm adopted. Hey, Cynthia, get your ass over here, girl. Hello, ladies. I see you traded your cheers for beers. Uh, guys, this is Tommy. Tommy, this is cheerleader number one, cheerleader number two. I'm guessing cheerleader number three is off somewhere giving night number four a hand job. Would you stop it with that number thing? I hear your mom died. That really sucks. Aww. Yes, it does suck. I'll just get us some beers. Ladies, tact. Oh, it's 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 I'm a little fool. So, Magic Boy, you enjoy my show? Yeah, it was okay. It was okay. Because, kid, if you knew anything about chess, you'd be begging for my autograph. But I guess, um, now, I'm just guessing here, that's why you're not on our team. <laughs> guess you're right. Oh, I'm a guesser, eh? Yeah. So, uh... Sean! Yeah? Why don't you tell us all again how you totally annihilated that Princeton pussy tonight? Shall I? Dude, I... dude, you totally destroyed those Ivy League bitches. You, you picked that totally. up? You saw that? Totally. Oh, totally. oh bro! Sorry. Sorry about that. That's okay. You handled him pretty well, though. <laughs> Poor Sean. Just prodigies have a hard time with rejection. I think prodigy is a bit of an exaggeration. I mean, you could have finished this game seven moves earlier. Really? Yeah, I mean, there are easier ways to counter Sicilian defense. I thought you didn't play chess. I used to, with my mom. It was like uh, our thing. You ever beat her? Yeah, as I got older, now and then, yeah. I know you highfalutin city folk are used to fancy dress parties and all, but I hope this evening wasn't too rural for you. No, I had a rootin' tootin' good time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad. So were you being serious before? I mean, about you being adopted. Of course I was being serious. Everything I say is serious. And profound. <laughs> are you making fun of me, young man? <laughs> no, 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 I wouldn't dare. 
So why does Sean call you Magic Boy? <laughs> Who knows? You are a very intriguing young man. Good night. We're shooting a slasher pick at my place this afternoon. You geezers fancy lending me a hand? I told you, that alien invasion thing was the last time. Your eyebrows grew back, didn't they? Come on, Tommy, be a mate. I thought you were shooting a kung fu movie. Thunderfist 2, that's ancient history. The new film is Daddy's Little Dead Girl. <laughs> uh, no, I can't. I gotta finish this. Hyacinth has the lead role. Yeah, good for a camera. That was perfect, love. But let's have another go, just to be safe. All right, first positions, people! So, is, is this your first acting gig? No, I did some amateur porn last year. <laughs> Thought I recognized you from somewhere. We're ready for you, darling. So, Tommy, how about you and I go on a date tomorrow? A date? Yeah, <laughs> you know, some boy-girl time alone. Sure. Yeah, that'd be, uh, that'd be great. I'll pick you up in the morning, around 11. We're losing light, people! <clears throat> My agent's gonna hear about all this bullying. <laughs> Mr. Linklater. Um, my name's Hyacinth Marquez. I'm here to take your son out on a date. Hello, Hyacinth. Nice to meet you. Hi, Tommy. Don't you look very dashing. Uh, I thought we were... Maybe I should go change? No, nonsense. You can never be too stylish. Right, Mr. Linklater? Indeed. <laughs> uh, well, we should get going. Yeah. Promise to have your son home at a reasonable hour. Very nice to meet you. Have fun. going? Does it really matter? Not at all. <laughs> this is a perfect place for a picnic. Not really. Now you try. I've never fired one before! A virgin. Okay, let me show you. Okay, now it's gonna kick some. So you wanna keep the stock firmly braced against your shoulder. Okay. Remember to lead the target. Aim for where it's going to be. Ready? Ready. Then call it. Pull! Premature. Relax. Give yourself a little more time, okay? Pull! I don't 
think I'm a very good marksman. I'll tell you what. I'll wager you a kiss that you'll hit this last disc. Pull. Congratulations. Everyone's going nuts. Are they? Of course. The whole town's been waiting for this for, for years. Well, come on, it was just a kiss. What? What are, you, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? The Russians, man. They're coming back. <laughs> hey, guys. So as you know, I'm head of the Russian Welcoming Committee. <laughs> oh, pity the poor swords on that committee. <laughs> And you boys are the committee. Bugger! Which means you're gonna help me build the set for the Cold War Revival Dance. All right. Hey, we should have some gear left over from the Soviet spy caper we shot last summer. Excellent. These are your schedules. I expect you to adhere to them. Mm. See y'all later. Congratulations. She's turned down every guy at the school. And a few married men as well. Evening, ladies and gents. Good to see you all. And it's especially nice to see you, Mr. Linkletter. I was a good friend of your mother's. Nice to meet you. Daryl, why don't you fetch up the gear and I'll serve up the drinks. Once a month, Braddock closes the bar and we play some high stakes Dragon Slayer. You'll love it. Shadow Lafitte Rothschild, 1942. Wartime Vintner's Blend. Very rare. Thanks. Grab your wallets. It's time to ante up. As usual, the pot will go to the player who inflicts the most hit points worth of damage. Hold on to your briefs, boys. It's gonna get bloody. Oh no! Oh no! Bloody hell, Hyacinth. In one month, you've managed to kill off Braddock's 25th level berserker, Paul Devil's Valkyrie, which he hardly ever used for fear of losing her, Mar class mega thief, and now Julius's prized elfin ranger has gone tits up as well. Oh, well, you're all big boys now, so learn some good defensive spells and quit your whining. My poor elf. <laughs> to Julie's elf, may he wander the wooded glades of the elfin afterlife in peace. Here, here, here. Yeah. I gotta take a leak. Well, hurry back. The perils of the dark realm wait for no man. I know a place where the sky is so blue. You can dance in the afternoon. That was taken just before a Russian summit match in 76. My mom played in that tournament? She was the captain of our team. You didn't know. She never mentioned it. Your mother was, is, the best natural player I've ever known. That girl could dismantle a 200-year-old stratagem in a matter of seconds. We turned that 76 summit into a Cold War battle, and Melanie was expected to strike a blow for freedom and democracy. We ripped the joy right out of it for her. Is that why she left? Yeah. I don't blame her. Mm -hmm. She lost that night, but I know she wasn't beaten. She just let the game go. For good. Well, 
She used to play with me a lot. Did she? That's good to know. <clears throat> Come on. Before your girlfriend kills your dwarf, <clears throat> she's got something against dwarves. <laughs> Hey, Dad. You're home a bit late. Mm. And you reek of uh, cigar smoke? Mm. Nice. Cuban. Where you been? Playing high stakes Dragon Slayer at the Golden Rook. Look, made 40 bucks. My dwarf just beat all the odds. <laughs> Dad? Did you, did you know Mom was a chess hero in this town? Yeah. I was beginning to put two and two together. Yeah, but they say she could have been a grandmaster. Isn't that just like your mother? To be secretly brilliant at something? And I actually thought I won a couple offer. But you did. I remember. You must have been about 11. We were in bed. And she said to me, out of the blue, Tommy beat me a chest today. She loved you more than anything, Tommy. I miss her, Dad. I know. Thought you might like a friendly game of croquet. <laughs> Definitely going to hell now, Dad. Tommy, <laughs> how long have you been standing there? Long enough to see your vicious croquet player. Me? You should have seen some of the dirty stuff this supposed man of God was pulling earlier. <laughs> I think your father has some serious atheist rage issues. Yeah. Why don't you grab a mallet? Join the fray. Uh, no, that's all right. I've got uh, tons of homework to do. But you too. Play nice, huh? Huh? He's really missing his mother. I'm really missing his mother. I will want a rematch. Glutton for punishment, eh? So, how's the book coming along? It isn't. I've been working on the same page for eight days now. Is it a science problem? It is. But it's also a Melanie problem. She's even more present here than she was at home. Kind of defeats our purpose in coming here. Well, for what it's worth, we're all glad that you and Tommy came. It feels like a hole in the town's been filled. Thanks. <clears throat> Herman, I know there's nothing I can say that'll help you with your Melanie problem, but maybe this will help you with your science problem. four in the morning. He's right. Jesus, he's right. Get some rest, Dad. How can he possibly be right? Oh, I see you're still slumming it with the basketball geeks. Well, what can I say? They've got big balls, and all you chess boys got is small pieces. <laughs> <laughs> Laugh it up, Chuckles. I feel sorry for you, Sean. Just oh. let him go. The fear must be terrible. Oh, yeah, and uh, what exactly am I afraid of? You're afraid that if he chose Hi, to... Hyacinth. Don't. 
Tommy could beat you anytime he wanted. Is that right, Tommy? You could beat me anytime you wanted? I don't play chess. Oh, that's right. You don't play chess. And you know what that makes you? I give up. That makes you the biggest disappointment this town has seen since your mother got her ass kicked in 76. Sorry. I must have misheard you. Could you repeat that? Fine. Right here, right now. Board. I'm sorry I have to humiliate you in front of all these people, but you understand there can be no doubt, right? Right. So please, you have the honor. Hey, let's see, you have shit position and no mobility. I'd say that's a winning combination. A Budapest counter gambit? <laughs> that's your best move? All you got is bad bishops and soft pawns, kid. You're terrible. You can stare at that board for a thousand years. It's not going to get any prettier. you in three. It's, it's over. You're right. Sorry, I couldn't be the hero. He threw it. I lost? No, of course not. I couldn't care less about that. Well, that's funny. You seemed pretty interested in me winning when you thought it was a sure thing. I just wanted to take Sean down a few pegs, and I thought You that... thought I'd be the perfect weapon for the job? Hyacinth Marquez, the Wonder Girl, has a new accessory. Her very own chess prodigy. With Tommy in her pocket, she can't be stopped. That's not fair. Hyacinth, but I have nothing to prove to anyone. Some sort of savant. 
That voice he hears, that voice he hears, it must be some sort of manifestation of some, of some hyper-mathematical intuition. That's great, Dad. Tommy, this equation solves almost everything. I, I can finish the book now. Tommy. Street Sweeper 3, scene 21, take one. Mark. And action. Damn it, McBride, they've got us surrounded. We're gonna have to blast our way out. This one's for the Sarge. Cut! 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 Thomas, you're trying to ruin my film. Because if you are, that's all right. I just need to know, is no. that your intent? No, no, it's not. I'm, I'm sorry. Okay, people, that's a wrap. Call time is after school tomorrow. Listen, Dav, I'm going to take my director's hat off for a minute and tell you something you need to know. She is irreplaceable. Well, if she's so perfect, why does she... I didn't say she was perfect. I said she was irreplaceable. Know what I mean, mate? Linklaters, leave a message after the beep. That'll be her. Again. So don't answer it. Oscar Wilde once said, it takes a thoroughly good woman to do a stupid thing. Please call me. What did she do that was so terrible? She pressured me into playing chess. Oh. Dad, how did you manage to ruin macaroni and cheese? Yeah. So, uh, was that equation I gave you of any use? Quite useful. Thank you. As a matter of fact, I've written more in the past few days than I have in two years. Incidentally, here's my chapter on quantum mechanics and consciousness. I'd like you to read it. Really? Tell me what you think. I'd be honored. Of course, it won't be included in the book. Why not? Because I won't be able to explain where I got that equation from. Just, just say it came to you in a dream. I may as well claim it was passed on to me by prophet of God. No, I'm afraid that little bit of mathematics is far too far ahead of its time. We're better off just uh, waiting for it to pop up on its own. That could take a hundred years or more. You never know. Uh. You wouldn't happen to have any more equations like that, uh, would you? I'm afraid not. Nah, just checking. Hey, what's up, magic boy? What? I'm not here for a rematch. I just want to go for a ride. Well, I don't want to go for a ride. You threw that game. Dad, I'm going out for a while. Where are we going? The city. All right, we're here.
I admit it. I'm scared. That's okay. Just don't act scared. Okay? Follow me. <laughs> you know, I can't undermine my tournament training with money games. And who are you betting for? But who is your friend here? This is Tommy. He's Melanie Lloyd's son. Melanie. Tommy. Melanie Lloyd's son. Are you here to play? Oh, no, you guys go ahead. Yes, yes, he is. He's here to play you. Mm. What? Yeah, we're uh, gonna play 100 on the pond. Oh. Uh, this isn't a good idea. Your friend does not seem too enthusiastic to play. <laughs> you could have beaten me, right? Right. So if you beat this guy, I'll know. You'll know what? I'll know you're a genius, and there's no shame in losing to a genius. Sit down. Come on. So, Tommy, do we play? Yeah, we'll play. Good, good. Hi. 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 Fifteen one against. Come by. Come by. It's begin. fingers off if I win. When you schoolgirls are finished whispering, I would like to continue to play. Um, sorry. Checkmate? throw up. So why'd you throw our game? Because you needed to win it. <laughs> yeah. Well, listen, uh, Tommy, I'm, 
I'm sorry about what I said. You know, about your mother. I was just pushing buttons. I didn't mean it. I know. Yeah. Well, I saw a coach today, and uh, I told him, I told him that you beat me. <laughs> yeah, he was pissed. At you? No, no, not at me, at you. Well, he says that when you squander talent, it's like spitting in the face of God, you know. Well, God took my mom, so I guess we're even, huh? I'll see you later, Sean. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. I, uh, I secretly had a good time tonight. <laughs> I know. Take care. boyfriend before. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'll be right down. I still can't believe you've never had a boyfriend. Well, I'm sophisticated yet inexperienced. It can be an awkward combination. That's just another clever thing to say. Tommy, I'm proud that you're my boyfriend. Not because of what you can do, but because of who you are. So... I'm sorry. I've never... Uh... <laughs> Neither have I. I think we'll figure it out.
They're here. They're here. They're that you've come. We're also very excited. I believe you already know our coach. Приветствую, Сергей Федорович. Надеюсь, что ваша команда сумеет оправдать свою репутацию. Я много наслышан о ней. My team is ready. And you will have your game, Владимир. Вы знаете, Сергей, я никогда не винил вас за то, что вы покинули нашу родину. Я прекрасно понимаю, что притяжение западного декаденства чрезвычайно сильно у некоторых для противостояния. And I have never blamed those who remain compliant in the face of oppression. I can understand how the authority of a collective regime was too intimidating for some to challenge. Mr. Tao, I have a great pleasure to present you my Russian team. This are the cream of the crop of a young Russian player. And this is their captain, Anya Petrovich. has always been and always will be about the fans. That's why we need to keep the camera on the audience to catch a reaction to our musical extravaganza. I hate to break it to you, mate, but no one gives a bollocks about the keyboard player. Damn good. Although I'm not sure the Russians are enjoying it. Miss Marquez, they don't seem to be getting the joke. I know. I thought they'd have a more developed sense of irony. <sighs> yes, well, if you don't do something to salvage the situation, I will hold you personally responsible for any international incident that may occur. Don't worry, Tuttle. Everything's under control. Duty calls. Would you like to be dancing with me? Yeah, sure. This I don't like. Woman is man, she's strong, I don't like this, it's not planned.
Because you're hot, I won't kick your ass tomorrow. <laughs> I will break you. <laughs> mm. 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 Office of principal. Okay. Mm. Oh. Mm. Naughty boy on desk of principal. Remove your pants. Please. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Uh -huh. Let me strap those on. Precious. Are kinky freaks. Did you really think I could desire someone so inferior? Oh, oh. Mm. Oh. I will see you at game tomorrow, mm. sweetie. Mm. 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 here today than we did back in 76. Oh yeah, oh yeah. We're gonna send those Ruskies back to Stalinville! Yeah! 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 Well, as you can see, Bill, emotions are running high here in North Hatley. It should be quite a match. That is the sound of hope, of pride, of expectation. Do you hear it? Yes, yes sir. sir! Well, ignore it. It is irrelevant. You are not here to make this town proud of you. You are here to play chess. The best damn chess of your life. Now we pray. Dear Lord, grant these young players foresight, wisdom, and cunning. Bless them now, now, and forever. Amen. 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 Hey, go. Have you heard Tom Shaw? No, he's gone into complete isolation. You know how he gets before big meets.
aren't they waiting for Sean? The captain's match is played later. Sean likes to make a grand entrance at the last possible minute. He rode in on a horse once, in full medieval armor. Work hard all year for this day. You're ready. I know it in my heart. We're gonna win! Yeah! Ты самый лучший. Хорошо? Хорошо. Ребята, у вас есть отличный пример. Выиграем с игру. Отличные выигры. Хорошо? Да! Молодцы, молодцы. With all your funny business with your knight, what do you expect? Does this mean we've lost? No, the captain's match is worth three points. If Sean wins, the team wins. Ten minutes until the captain's match. What can I 
I say to these Russians, they're good. But you're better than you showed today. It's up to your captain to save you again. So could somebody tell me, please, where in the name of God is Sean? Mate. Looks like that Russian trollop has been up to no good. Come on. Wonder where they're going in such a hurry. Grandmaster, Grandmaster, Grandmaster. Sir, I remind you that any player not at his tail by the 10 minute mark unfortunately uh, forfeits the match. Yes, I'm well aware of the regulations. Well, I see you have an alternate listed here. I remind you the latest substitution can be made. Two minutes before the match. Die, I get it. Now go play with your whistle. Four times, four times. Yo, yo. What up, what up, yo. Julius, you check the classrooms. Daryl, the basement and the boiler room. I'll check out the rest. He's got to be here somewhere. We'll meet back here in two minutes. Gotcha. Mr. Linglet, I have a problem. Sean is not here and he has put me down as the alternate. He put me down as a what? Alternate, backup. It means if he cannot play, you do, and I do not think he can play. Oh, I never agreed to this. That is regrettable, but the fact remains that if you do not play, we will forfeit the match. You have one minute to decide. Father, please. Give up. Whatever that minx has stashed him, it's not on school grounds. Blimey. <laughs> Substitution home team. Thomas Linklater for Sean Rhodes.
what do you think I should do? Well, I'll just move my queen and we'll see what happens, huh? Who has taught you to play in such idiotic fashion? My mother. And your mother is a fool. I have your queen. Yes, you do. But, um... I have your king in five. Hey Tommy, hey Synth, hope you two lovebirds are enjoying college. UCLA loves my slam dunks and I love the waves. Film school is effing brilliant. One of our professors showed Daddy's little dead girl to someone at Miramax. Hey. Over here. Alright, all right. don't get your niggas in a twist. I stood up yesterday. For the first time. I rode a wave. Yeah, for three whole seconds. The greatest three seconds of my life. I'm gonna do it again today, and I want you guys to watch. Here I go. All I have to say to you is thank you for being the sun in my everyday to push the rain away, and I'll take all the time. Make sure that you're mine To open up the door And see that I am yours <laughs> Two, three, four London, Tokyo And no high Listen to us, we're rhyming real nasty Grandmaster, Grandmaster, Grandmaster Think faster, Grandmaster, think faster Than a punk rank amateur bastard I don't wanna put you in that critical position Just watching you, we don't know that you are missing Don't know these faces, you wishing you were kissing I don't wanna put you in the critical position You call it luck, I call it innovation Moving on the game with romantic inspiration Checkmate, and for you it's a Grandmaster, 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 think faster, Grandmaster, think faster, Then I'm like I'm a faster. What up, what up, yo, one time, one time, yo, yo, what up, what up, yo. Yo, a word up, word up. Yo, yo, a four time, four time. Yo, yo, a word up, word up. Yo, yo, a five time, a five time. Yo, yo, a word up. Grandmaster, 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 think faster. Grandmaster, think faster. Better punk rank amateur. 
Yo, yo, four time, four time, yo, yo. 